हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आर लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट प्रोफेशनल इंग्लिश अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू मॉड्यूल थ्री बेसिक टेक्निकल राइटिंग स्किल्स एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट दिस इज अ लेंदी मॉड्यूल एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इट इन फोर वीडियो लेक्चर्स सो दिस इज द थर्ड लेक्चर एंड हेयर वील बी कवरिंग द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स मीटिंग purpose of the meeting components types of meetings minutes and agenda so first we should understand what is a meeting meeting is the coming together of three or more than three people who share common aims and objectives and who through the use of verbal and written communication contribute to the objectives being achieved so whenever we talk about a meeting it is uh, about a particular topic where we need to discuss certain things and come to a proper conclusion it should have a common goal common aims and objectives now what are the purpose of meetings first is to pool and develop ideas more than three people are coming together they'll share their thoughts and they'll come with different ideas to plan plan for an action plan for something to solve problems to make decisions to create and develop understanding amongst the members to encourage enthusiasm and initiative to provide a sense of direction to the members and to create a common purpose because meetings are when we are talking about meeting here we are talking about an organization a business organization an official organization so there of course we need to meet to have these purposes to solve these different types of purposes either providing a sense of direction to the team or making a decision or solving a problem etc so the components of meeting there are three main components of meeting first one is the content so content is very important the matter so the content is the knowledge the information that we share in the meeting the experience of the persons the seniors the expertise their opinions the different opinions maybe a fresher can contribute with certain innovative ideas attitudes expectations so every individual brings all these things to a meeting then the interaction interaction we can uh, define as a way in which the participants work together to deal with the content of a meeting so how the people interact how they communicate with each other so this not only includes the verbal communication but also the feelings the attitudes the expectations of the participants that this has a direct bearing on the cooperation the listening the participation and trust and the third component is the structure it is the way in which both the information and the participants are organized to achieve the purpose or the objectives of the meeting there are certain meetings round table meetings or classroom style meetings so there the structure of the meeting is also very important component next there we'll discuss about the different types of meetings so we'll be covering the four types of meetings informing meetings consulting meetings problem solving meetings and decision making meetings so first one is informing meeting as the name suggest they are conducted just to give a in an information so these are the most straight forward meetings where one member usually the chairperson of the meeting who is chairing the meeting has factual information or a decision and the this decision affects all the members who are present in the meeting and this person wishes to communicate this decision or information to the members now these types of meetings tend to be formal as their aims are to give the members a real understanding and to discuss any implications or how to put such information to best use next are the consulting meetings this these are for some type of consultation these are the meetings used to discuss a specific policy or innovation and these can be used to get participants views for the such policy or idea 
Now, an example could be reviewing a current policy, state its deficiency, suggest changes in that policy, stress the advantages of such change, admit any weaknesses or shortcomings, and invite comments from the participants. The third type of meeting is problem solving. Again, the it is very clear by the name. These meetings are dependent upon the chairperson describing the problem as clearly as possible because the meeting is conducted to solve the problem at hand. So members should be selected according to their experience, expertise or interest and then given as much information as possible to enable them to generate ideas, offer advice and reach conclusions regarding that problem and to come to a conclusion. Next type of meeting is the decision making meetings. These meetings tend to follow an established method of procedure. They are conducted to take certain decisions. So they have to follow a procedure, description of the problem, analysis of the problem, draw out ideas, decide which is best and reach conclusion. So here we are not trying to solve a problem but we are trying to come to a decision regarding a problem. Now there are different stages around meetings. First is the preparation that is done before the meeting, the actual meeting and then the follow up. So the preparation of the meeting, here we have to define the goal of the meeting very clearly. Now then select the participants who are going to be attending the meeting, decide the form of the meeting in person or phone or web conference. These days you can understand that the face-to-face -face meetings are not possible. So webinars are being held, conference calls, video conferencing, teleconferencing. So these are the different forms of meeting. Set date and start and end time of the meeting. Distribute agenda and provide supporting material and time to the participants. Demand that everyone is prepared for the meeting with their thoughts, with their ideas and of course pen and paper. Designate one person to take notes during the meeting and consider rotating this function. Otherwise, a person can feel taxed every time I have to make the notes, right? Next is the actual meeting. So the meeting should start on time. The chair of the meeting has this responsibility to start the meeting on time. Repeat the goal of the meeting that has already been discussed or suggested. Provide updates on tasks from previous meetings if applicable. If this is a follow-up meeting, then follow to the agenda and stay on time. Stay focused. Place new topics on parking lot for next meeting. That means that if you have any new topics coming up in the meeting, then they, are, they need to wait for the next meeting. Take clear brief notes and distinguish between informational notes and decisions. Assign tasks, assign each task to one person and set due date. At the end of meeting, summarize all decisions and tasks, schedule follow-up meeting if required and end on time. So this has to be the actual meeting. Next comes the follow-up. Now, follow-up of meeting has to cover the following points. That is, first we need to distribute minutes of the meeting as soon as possible. Communicate tasks to task owners. You have to tell that these, these are the tasks, you have to do this, you have to do that, that were distributed in the actual meeting. Track tasks and follow up if not completed by due date. File minutes in a place where you can easily find them. Ground rules. Now, ground rules create a productive environment where everyone can contribute in a meaningful way. No cell phones are allowed in the meeting. Demand proper preparation. No side conversations are to be done in the meeting. Attendance means participation. If a person is pre present in the meeting, the person should contribute. It is okay to have different opinions, but communicate a unified decision outward. Make sure tasks are executed. So these are the ground rules. These are to be communicated in the follow-up meeting. In the actual meeting, we have to follow these things like no cell phones, uh, no side conversations, attendance means participation, but these are the ground rules and these are to be communicated in the follow-up meeting. Next is the agenda of the meeting. Now, what is agenda? Agenda is a list of items 
that participants hope to accomplish at a meeting so we can say these are the this is a list of meeting activities what we have to discuss in the meeting what we are supposed to do in the meeting so these are the things in the order in which they are to be taken up beginning with a call to order and ending with adjournment now the agenda should be distributed in advance of the meeting minimal 24 hours in advance so that participants have the opportunity to prepare for the meeting to think about the different strategies to come up with ideas and all so this is the template of an agenda meeting title the agenda what is the meeting about the information some description objective of the meeting the date the time location agenda items and the presenters means if there are different persons who are going to present then the presenters of the meeting then the requirements of the meeting should also be uh, included here the you have to see uh, mention please read you have to read these things means the document if you are giving some documents in advance so you have to tell the participants to read that uh, document in advance please bring what all they have they are required to bring items required responsibilities due date and submitted by whom they should be it should be signed next is the minutes of meeting now minutes of course you we understand the term minute you know seconds minutes in term of time so exactly me, minutes of meeting means the live written record of a meeting it is also known as a protocol or a note and many times it is uh, we have to follow it minute by minute everything so they include the list of attendees issues trees related responses and final decisions taken to address the issue their purpose is to record what actions have been assigned to whom along with the achievements and the deadlines so minutes is basically the record so then after the meeting is over when you have to follow up then with the help of minutes only you can follow what task was assigned to whom so when we talk about minutes so we there are certain tips to prepare minutes of meeting read and refer to the agenda when you have to prepare the minutes you need to refer to the agenda what the meeting is about find out about expectations from you how much of detail is required in the minutes notepad pencil with attached eraser eraser should be given to the participants check off attendees as they enter the meeting room if you are not able to give the pencil you can give pen also and when they uh, participants are coming the entering the meeting room you have to check them remember to participate in the meeting because then only you will be able to listen to the thought the ideas otherwise it may so happen that you are preparing the minutes and you are just listening to others and not able to contribute to the meeting seek clarifications during the meeting or at the first opportunity if anything is not clear because you have to prepare the minutes so you need to know about every thought about the ideas the suggestions then procure the list of attendees with contact information from the one drafting the agenda before the meeting who have whosoever has prepared the agenda you need to get the list of attendees with their information from because after the preparation of the minutes you need to distribute you need to mail the minutes of the meeting to them write the minutes immediately after the meeting be brief but do not compromise with important details names of those who moved the motion but not who voted how mention of follow up actions and roles emerging from the meeting attach as appendix further documents or reports referred to in the minutes if some kind of document or report has to be uh, attached you have to attach is as attach it as appendix next procure the list of attendees with contact information from the one drafting the agenda before the meeting next is be objective do not include opinions and comments of your own or other members when you are preparing the minutes you need you need to remember you have to be objective you are not going to include any opinion 
of, of your own. Maintain the same tense, present perfect is an ideal choice. Review and edit the minutes. Email the draft minutes well before time for the next meeting to all the attendees of the present meeting for their approval. If anyone has to give a suggestion, they can give you the suggestion. Carry sufficient print copies of the draft minutes for reference and used by the attendees during the next meeting because in the next meeting they may forget to bring the minutes so you need to provide them the minutes for the follow-up and the next meeting to be successful so these are the tips to prepare minutes of the meeting this is a minutes of meeting template you can see the meeting information the objective is there the date the time who has uh, the location the type of meeting you know, like uh, it um, could have been a face-to-face -face meeting, a telephonic meeting, the facilitator, the timekeeper, the note taker, submitted by, approved by, the attendees, the names of all these persons, right? Then the agenda items, the presenter, the time allotted to the different presenters, if there were uh, some number of presenters decisions taken, the new action items, other notes and information. So this is a meeting template, meet minutes of meeting template. This is a sample minutes of meeting. So you can see this is a little bit different from the previous one. So you can follow a different type of format meeting. You have to mention the agenda here. What was the meeting about, the date, the location, the chairperson or the presiding officer, the secretary, the members present or the attendees, then the points that were discussed. So this is about meeting. This is all about meeting. And in the next lecture, we will be talking about a new topic that is sentences. I hope the lesson, the topic was clear to you. If you have any questions, you can post in the comment section. And please go through the notes. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe. Keep learning.